ever wondered how long it would take to get to Mars? And why SpaceX Falcon Heavy took so long to fly to the Red Planet? Hello guys and welcome back to Liftoff, your place where you find everything space and often SpaceX. In today's video, we will learn about and analyze as well as discover the reasons for SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, several delays to fly to Mars and beyond. So stay tuned. After successfully developing and flying the Falcon 1 rocket, SpaceX received funding from NASA to develop a spacecraft, the Dragon Capsule, that in 2012 became the first commercial spacecraft to bring cargo to the International Space Station. To get to space, the Falcon required a heavier lift rocket, called Falcon 9, which SpaceX developed and then flew in 2010. Musk first announced a bigger rocket, the Falcon Heavy, in 2011. At the time, he said the rocket would carry 117,000 pounds of cargo to orbit, twice the capacity of the space shuttle. Musk also predicted the first Falcon Heavy flight would come in 2013. As is common in spaceflight, however, the date was pushed back several years during development. There were two catastrophic failures of the Falcon 9 rocket in 2015 and 2016. Flights were suspended both times, while the cause of the failures was investigated, and that likely contributed to pushing back the timeline of the Falcon Heavy. This caused a major delay in development of the Falcon Heavy. On top of that, SpaceX was also planning to verify the Falcon Heavy for crewed flight. Although it became increasingly clear that this would take longer than expected, and with more time and money developing the Starship, they decided to scrap the idea of humans flying aboard the Falcon Heavy. After fixing the issues plaguing Falcon 9, SpaceX completed a static fire test of the Falcon Heavy center core in May 2017. By September of that year, all three boosters planned for the first flight completed static testing. In early 2018, the Falcon Heavy was pulled out of its hangar, ready for its first test flight. Thousands gathered around the Cape, and millions around the world watched the Falcon Heavy fly through the sky online. After demonstrating that the Falcon Heavy could successfully fly and deliver payloads, it looked like it was ready to launch satellites for its first customers. This included the Arabsat communications satellite, as well as the US military, who arranged to launch their satellites on the Falcon Heavy way back in 2012. These launches were originally scheduled only a few months after the initial test flight. But as efforts were being made to launch and upgrade Block 5 Falcon 9, SpaceX once again lagged with the Falcon Heavy. While the Falcon Heavy may not fly as often as we would have liked until now, it's important to point out that SpaceX has spoiled us with an unprecedented number of launches over the past few years. In 2018 alone, SpaceX achieved 20 successful launches of the Falcon 9, while other rockets like Ariane, Atlas and Delta managed only between 3 and 6 launches. One of the main reasons why Falcon Heavy doesn't have many missions is the supply and demand for satellites. The Falcon Heavy is a heavy lift vehicle, capable of carrying satellites up to 23 tons into low Earth orbit. Most importantly, it can do so while being reusable, making it the most economical heavy lift rocket on the market. While this is an impressive amount of capacity, most satellites typically weigh between 2 and 8 tons, making smaller rockets like the Falcon 9 more suitable. Growth in the small satellite market has allowed private company Rocket Lab to flourish with its Electron rocket. The next flight of SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket, previously scheduled for this month, have been pushed back to early 2022 after more delays caused by its US military payload, a Space Force spokesperson has said. The launch of the Space Force's USSF-44 mission was set for October 9th, 2021, but officials have delayed the mission to accommodate payload readiness. The Space Force did not release a launch date for the USSF-44 mission, but the spokesperson said the launch is now targeted for early 2022, nearly three years since the most recent Falcon 9 launch in June 2019. The Falcon Heavy will deliver multiple military payloads to high-altitude geosynchronous orbit on the USSF-44 mission. The rocket's upper stage will fire several times to place the satellites into position more than 22,000 miles above the equator. The upper stage flight profile will include a coast lasting more than five hours between burns, making the USSF-44 mission one of SpaceX's most demanding launches yet. 
One of the spacecraft on the UWSF-44 launch is a microsatellite named Tetra-1, built by Millennium Space Systems, a subsidiary of Boeing headquartered in El Segundo, California. Tetra-1 satellite was created to prototype missions and tactics, techniques and procedures in and around geosynchronous Earth orbit. The military has not disclosed information about the other satellite or satellites on the UWSF-44 mission. Payload delays previously pushed back the UWSF-44 launch from July to October. SpaceX will use three newly manufactured boosters for the UWSF-44 mission. All of the boosters were delivered to the Florida base earlier this year. The challenging launch profile will leave no leftover propellant to recover the center core of the Falcon Heavy, according to the Space Force. The core stage will be expended on the launch, while the rocket's two side boosters will be recovered on two SpaceX drone ships positioned downrange east of Cape Canaveral. Despite the long gap between Falcon Heavy flights, next year is shaping up to be a busy year for the rocket with four launches of the heavy lifter scheduled from Florida's space coast between January and August. Next August, NASA's robotic Psych spacecraft is scheduled to launch aboard a Falcon Heavy rocket on a mission to explore a metallic asteroid orbiting the sun between Mars and Jupiter. Another mission in late 2022, designated UWSF-67, may also use Falcon Heavy rocket, but the Space Force hasn't confirmed if it will launch on a Falcon Heavy or SpaceX's single-stick Falcon 9 rocket. All Falcon Heavy flights from Pad 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, the same complex used by Apollo lunar missions, space shuttles, and SpaceX's crew missions. SpaceX has at least 10 confirmed Falcon Heavy launches in its backlog, including missions to dispatch NASA's Europa Clipper spacecraft towards Jupiter and to send the first two elements of the planned Gateway Mini Space Station toward the Moon, both in 2024. NASA's Viper Moon rover is also slated to launch on a Falcon Heavy in late 2023, and the NOAA weather satellite is assigned to launch on a Falcon Heavy in 2024. NASA has also contracted SpaceX for two Falcon Heavy flights to boost Dragon XL cargo missions to the Gateway Station later in the 2020s. The Falcon Heavy is made up of three modified Falcon 9 first stage boosters connected in a triple core configuration. The rocket's 27 Merlin main engines produce 5.1 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, more than any other currently operational rocket. The Falcon Heavy will get more US military contracts in the coming years. The Space Force last year announced multi-billion dollar contracts to fly the military's most crucial national security payloads on United Launch Alliance Vulcan Centaur rockets and SpaceX Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launches through 2027. Now that we have come to the end of the video, what are your future predictions for SpaceX's Falcon Heavy? Let us know your opinion in the comment section down below. If you like the video and want to be updated with more space and SpaceX news, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.